from the footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our any given Saturday.com FCS Game of the Week preview between the Northern Iowa Panthers and the North Dakota State Bison. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Panthers. Northern Iowa is fresh off a blowout victory versus McNeese last week, 41-6. to They played fast on both sides of the ball, and quarterback Sawyer Cole Morgan played flawless last week. He was spreading the wealth, getting everyone involved in the ball game. They're going to need that type of output once again on the road versus North Dakota State. Let's move over to the Bison in this ball game, dominating defensive performance last week versus South Dakota State. Negative 34 yards rushing, and I know a lot of that was sack yardage, but still, they held Zach Zinner, the outstanding tailback, to under 20 yards for the whole game. The biggest question is how will they match up versus a spread attack of Northern Iowa? And that offensive line showed some leakage last week in pass pro, so it'll be interesting to see how well they protect Jensen this week versus the Panthers. The X Factor in this game for the Panthers will be their four minute offense. And usually your four minute offense is utilized when you're trying to close out a ball game, but I think they can slow the pace down throughout the course of the game, utilizing that same principle. So I look for their four minute offense to be their main offense this week versus the Bison. The X Factor for the Bison will be their team speed. They're gonna be challenged by Northern Iowa's speed on offense as well as defense. So it's up to the Bison to come into this ball game, understanding they're gonna have to play fast throughout the course of the football game. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this ball game. For Northern Iowa, utilize that speed to disrupt the running game. You don't have to be big up front to stop the run, but you have to be aggressive and you have to disrupt the rushing lanes. I think they can do that with that speed. And you wanna make Brock Jensen beat you. It's not a knock against Brock Jensen. It's just saying you want North Dakota State to get out of their element. You want them to become a passing team and not a running team. And your wide receiver, Chad Owens, has to win the one-on-one -on -one matchups versus Marcus Williams, the outstanding All-American cornerback. And for the Bison in this game, I would go heavy eye formation versus the Panthers 3-3-5. That's one way you can slow down a 3-3-5 defense. You run downhill right at it with that eye formation. And interior pressure versus that Panther offensive line, that's another way you can stop the spread offense by getting pressure from within. And I would go with cloud coverage versus a twins or a trip set that they love to run. Gives you protection on the back end with two corners and a safety right there covering two or three guys. Now here are some 2014 draft prospects you want to keep an eye on in this ball game for Northern Iowa. Two guys along both sides of the line of scrimmage. Offensive lineman Dan Kruger, 6'5", 320, a senior, and Xavier Williams, a defensive lineman, 6'4", 311. For North Dakota State, we've talked about this before. Cornerback Marcus Williams, one of the best cornerbacks in the country, 5'11", 190 pound senior. Billy Turner up front, very good run blocker and does a great job in pass pro, as well as linebacker Grant Olson does a great job in the second level of defense, not only versus the run, but versus the pass. Big fan of Brian Smith. He jumped on the scene to me this year and was a guy that has been very productive throughout the course of the season. And Brock Jensen, a little steady performance from him in the pocket. This is a guy that has gotten consistently better each and every week. Kurt Warner is definitely a campus legend. Here's a guy that didn't get to start until his senior season in 1993. He maximized that opportunity, becoming the Gateway Conference Player of the Year. Rocky Hager was an outstanding coach for the Bison from 1987 to 1996. He captured four conference titles, two Division II national championships, and compiled a 91-25 and one record throughout the course of his time in Fargo, North Dakota. I like the Bison in this ball game. Here's a team that's dominant on both sides of the line of scrimmage, and I think that's how they'll win this matchup versus the Panthers. They'll slow down the pace of the game offensively and lean on that defensive front with the ground game. And on defense, they'll be able to clog up the middle and get that interior pressure that's needed to slow down the Panthers' passing attack. So I see the Bison moving on to 5-0 on the season.